All right, coming up next, it's a bantamweight clash between Rafael Asuncao and John Dodson. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so the fight is on the way. We'll see how it plays out. It's a pick and fight according to Las Vegas. And really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film. But neither guy's in the UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded. They have every skill. And that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. To the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the other side, but otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Big follow up punch land. Now we get back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. Straight, beautifully placed there by Dotson. Big kick. Big head kick lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. Okay, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for John Dodson. to go and end the fight. One, two, punch by a sunset. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jabs. Oh! Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Stuff the takedown, no problem. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Horn out for the end of round one. All right, round two. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. So 39 total strikes have now landed for John Dodson. Well, more often than not, DC, when the strike has been thrown, it has found the home. 52% the accuracy rate against Rafael Asuncao. Asuncao gets caught. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, big head kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. 
Serve him up. Go get him. Knee to the body. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice job there by Rafael Sunsau. He's still staying home at Georgia to train with his brothers, Junior and Freddie. And if it's not broken, no need to fix it. Oh, yeah. Roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Nice. One minute now to go round two. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him. Oh, sweat ball. Nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around, trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the board? Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Five total strikes have landed for Rafael Asensi. And the accuracy rate, by the way, if you're scoring at home, 47% to this point in the fight against John Duff. Straight punch lands. the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Nice body kick. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up the fight. Is right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Blocks. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Oh, 
we'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Played the winner by unanimous decision, John the Magician Dodson! Actually, the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few 